Well, hey everyone, welcome back to How to Build in Minecraft with me, with Hex. Hex Regulus. Yeah, that's a weird name. Anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on some of these office spaces. I'm hoping to maybe get a couple of them done, but we'll see. We need to t keep track of time here. Uh, last time what we did is we built this lovely little... Um, shop down here and I think it looks so good that I'm gonna keep it <laughs> it looks so good we built a very fancy shop that's right fancy 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 it's been a couple days since I recorded one of these I've been playing some Elder Scrolls online every now and then I get like into that game I feel like it's like a summer thing for me um, anyway get my timer started here there we go okay so let's go ahead and check out this build here. Um, so right here, this is what we're going to decorate. And I think what we're going to do is do like, um, do like an accountant's office. I think that each one of these offices should be slightly different. So we're going to do an accountant's office in here. But before we do that, I forgot to do something last time that is very important. And what that is, is I wanted to take and create a stairwell going down to our lower garage, a garage. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to quickly build this little stairway coming down here to the garage like this. Oop, and pow. And then I'm going to just fill that in right there. So we have a double wide little door right there. That's beautiful. And then all we have to do is do this. Three, four, ten, fifteen. Whoa, what happened? No, life is over. I'm just kidding. Life is not over. Life is good. Life is good because we can just do that and then we're fine. Okay. Um, and then it would behoove us to potentially create, um, you know, like a little wall here. And you know what, you guys? I have a very big announcement. Very big. Optifine is now fine. <laughs> Optifine has done something. They have... Uh, made it so that I can do this. It's a little, it's a little funky still, but at least it doesn't um, completely glitch out. There we go. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Haha. Yeah. So it um, Optifine uses these funny um, magma guys. So the little magma cube guys, and so then. Um, Let's see. I gotta think while I'm doing this. And then I'll talk. Light. Uh, gray. Come on. Concrete. There it is. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, so Optifine uses these um, these guys here, these little magma cube guys, as sort of its cursors, and then it and it makes them invisible. Uh, for some reason, they're not showing up as invisible yet. But invisible blocks were causing Optifine to crash quite, uh, quite nastily. So uh, what we've done is uh, well, what what Optifine's done. I didn't do a darn thing. I just uh, downloaded it and installed it. <laughs> but what Optifine has done is they have gone ahead and um, repaired that, so that uh, that now is no longer a problem. And this is beautiful right here. So I think what we what we got to do here is we got to do a couple of doorsies, right? Let's go with like uh, that, maybe. And then we're gonna go with our iron. Iron doors. And then we have to have a button in order to open the iron doors. We'll put a button here and a button there. Nope, not there, there, there we go. All right, and then that way, we just have a couple iron doors. All right, now I know that this is not a very good redstone designed to have the button on the wall like that, but um, we're just doing that to create the aesthetic of this little fancy, uh, fancy area here. And you know what we need? You guys know me. We need just a little greenage in here. Just a little bit of greenage. There we go. It's sort of brownage now, but that's pretty good. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and put in like, um... That's good. 
that's good. I don't want to spend a lot of time on that little area. It's kind of unnecessary. All right. Uh, but in here, what I wanted to do was I wanted to build like an accountant's office. So all accountants need is just like rooms and they need like computers to do all their accounting stuff on. So uh, that's all we're going to do pretty much in here. And we do need though, we do need a, like a little receptionist area. So what I think I'm going to do is block this off like that and make kind of like a, just a walled off area right here. Do, 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 do. Ba, da, 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 da. Oop. And then when I just want to go like that and then, no, actually I don't want to go like that. Um, there we go. That's pretty good. And then we'll just like put some couches and stuff in there. And then I do want like, somebody to be able to sit in here and yeah and then I want like a little conference room like this maybe not quite like that I think what I want to do is build it right here and then we're going to build this right here. Because see what I'm what I'm thinking about and why I'm debating about it is I'm just kind of thinking about the size of the room and like basically a conference room is going to have a conference table, right? So what we need is to have space for a table that is somewhat large uh, and then chairs around it. So what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to make like a narrow space. So that's why I moved the wall there. And then we're just going to go ahead and go like this, like that, and across here. Oops, I did not mean to break that. And then we're just going to go across right here, and across right here, and da 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 I probably should have just used the bling edit tool, but that's okay. There we go. Now we have a room I cannot access. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty good. Sweet. Yeah. I don't like where this door is, so I'm going to move it over one. And that's better. There, now it looks centered. Okay. So then we have this room here, and then we've got this back in here. And then we're just gonna make like the accountant's like actual little area in here. This is where he's gonna like have his computer desk and stuff. So he can see out and so on. Like this, and like this. Sorry, I just blew into the mic there. My pop filter did not help me. <laughs> There we go. All right. That's like kind of all I wanted to do, really. Um, I was thinking about making couches in here, but I think what I'm going to do is make like a little, uh, like a little desky poo. I'm just going to make a little desky poo. Okay, we need some, we need some dark oak wood, because dark oak wood screams important desk. That's what just what it screams. Just when I look at it, I think, gosh, that's an important desk. That person is really fancy with their fancy desk. Like that. There we go. And then we're going to do a, what is that thing? A slab. That's what it's called. A slab hex. That is known as a slab. There we go. Very cool. And then you know what we're going to do is we're going to do some bookie shelves. We're going to do some bookie wookie shelves. Let's just do a couple of bookie wookie shelves behind here. Like maybe this uh, person has a bunch of just like stuff. And then we're going to get out some trap doors. These lovely dark oak trap doors. And we're going to put um, the trap doors like here. Kind of like line the side of these little bookie shelves like that. There we go. And then we're going to put one bookshelf, one deal right there. And then we're going to go with a, another slab right there for like a seat that this person could sit on. And actually, you know, let's just move the, the desk forward one. I don't really care for how that worked out. So I'm going to go like this. And this is, this is like our sort of receptionists, but also like the, uh, the assistant of the accountant. Because accountants need assistance. They're working on accounts all day. They're super bored. <laughs> they need somebody to assist them. 
There we go. That's good. It's good. My neighbor's actually an accountant, so he works very hard until uh, June fifteenth, and then he takes like three months off. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice for him. Anyway, let's see here. What are we gonna do? We need we need some decor. We need like a a pot. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna hold off on the decor for a moment. What I am gonna do though is I am gonna take a sea lantern and put it on the ceiling here just to give a little bit of light to this dark, dark world. There we go. <laughs> just a little light to the dark, dark world. May not help much. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, like that. Uh, that's basically what I want to do. Okay, very nice. Okay, then over here what I wanted to do was build that table I was talking about. So. We're going to start right, I'm just going to start against the wall here and bring it out like that and then like this and then break that. And then I kind of want a floaty table, but let's see what we can do here. Let's do um, some dark oak stairs like this and then I think what we're going to do is do them this way. This might be interesting. I just kind of had like an idea. I, I very rarely do tables in the manner that I'm about to do this one. So that's two away, that's two away, that, that'll work. Um, but you know what? I want it to be like here. So we're gonna go like that and like this. Pow. And then we need to break those two things, put that there. And then I need to put like an upside down stair there and an upside down stair there. There we go. So now the table kind of has some legs. That actually worked out. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and put in a couple of seats, like around the table like this. That's pretty good. And then maybe we'll just get rid of that because maybe the table should have been three wide, but that's okay. And then we're gonna go with uh, our dark oak trap doors again. And we're just gonna place a couple like this. And like this. And then it might be nice to have like a... Yeah, I was trying to make like a computer screen kind of thing, like a big, big screen so you can look at your accounts in super high def or whatever, but uh, that's too much clutter over here. We're gonna put that over here in this corner right here. Actually, let's not do it in the corner, let's go like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and do um, that right there and there. But before we do that, we've gotta have some light in here. Goodness gracious. Hex, can you light up the room so we can see what you're building, please? My goodness gracious, what is wrong with this guy? We're unsubscribing immediately. <laughs> Gotta unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. He doesn't know what he's doing, unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. I would totally unsubscribe from myself. That looks good. I like that very much. And then if we had like, um, we need something like this. We need something like a little bit of a... Yeah, we're going to go with a dark stripped oak log, like there and there. And then we're going to go with that there and there, just for like a little credenza-y thing. And then what I'd like to do is make a... Let's see if we can pull this off. I've got an idea. No? Okay. I want to make like a water cooler. <laughs> you know one of those? Let's see, glass. Uh, let's see, we've got that. And then, I mean, we could go with something like that and then have, um, do we have like a, ooh, a tripwire hook. I mean, that kind of works, right? Right? And then we're gonna have a little coffee pot. Where's the coffee pot? We need a, what is that thing called a brewing stand? Not a brewing stand, a brewing stand with a B, not a V. 
Come on, Hex. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> okay. All right. Then we need some water bottles. We need a good old-fashioned water bottle right there. And that's going to be our coffee pot. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, there we go. That basically works. Okay. And then if we had like a... No, I, th I think that's all it needs, right? I think that's all it needs. Um, the only thing that might work is if we use something like a, let's say a white, um, let's see, I want qu like the quartz blocks. And I'm thinking maybe like the, uh, like the chiseled one. Let's try this. It kind of looks better, huh? More, um, yeah, there we go. All right, and I was thinking about throwing a painting on the wall, but I think that's going to be overdoing it. Overdoing it. You kind of got to be careful with paintings, I think, because they're entities and, like, can suck up some computer resources. But, uh, let's see. Um, let's stay consistent with the decor in here and go like this. Just throw these around these guys like this. So one building tip I have is just add something. Add something. That is like a big, cool building tip that you can use. Add something. And what I mean by add something is add something to what you're doing, right? So um, like this table right here, right? It's a cool table. It looks good. But what if we could add something? So let's add something. Let's go ahead and grab out this. And maybe maybe a couple of people have like laptops on here. Maybe there's a couple of laptops. And then maybe there's like a, I don't know, a mouse next to one of the laptops. And maybe there's like a nice little um, potted plant like this one. And we need our flower pot. There's our flower pot. There we go. So we gotta add something, right? And then, um, I don't love the flower pot, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna put some of these, something about the color. Nope, that's not it. That's not what I wanna do. We're gonna go ahead and just put like this in the corner with our flower on it. Let's see. This is the orchid I wanted. There we go. Sweet, dude. That's good. Okay. And then maybe we'll grab a couple more of these. And I just realized that this needs something. And that needs something. There we go. Yeah, so if you feel like your build is like, mm, it's okay, try adding something. A lot of people think, or uh, I don't know, but like I'm tempted to think, <laughs> I don't really talk to a lot of people about this stuff, to be honest. That's why I kind of retracted what I was going to say. But, um, and then like a couple of water cups. There we go. Like a conference just occurred. Oh, I like that. Anyways, um, I feel like the one temptation would be to, if you don't like your build that much, to like delete it or like remove stuff. But instead, what you should do is continue to add to it. Um, and that that's like to a point, right? You kind of have to know when it's starting to look a little too cluttery. And that's where kind of like your personal taste comes in, right? And your personal taste would tell you like, oh, that's too cluttery. I need to get rid of that piece. Or, um, no, that's good. I like that. And that kind of thing. So um, my personal taste just told me, don't put those darn ladders on there because that looks stupid. <laughs> and that's how that works. Okay, cool. Excellent. That is done. And then we're going to go ahead and I just want to put a couple of lights on the ceiling going down the hallway here and those are a space of two and like that okay there we go and then what I think I'm gonna do is just add these to that and then maybe we'll do this do we want to add all these around yeah but we don't want quite so many of them maybe or maybe we do <laughs> Hey, stop that. There we go. There we are. Add something. There we are. So we're adding something. 
And what that something is, is just like whatever you think of, right? Like what, what could I add to this? And then I suddenly thought, how about some trapdoors? And then all of a sudden we have these really cool looking lights that I like very much. I've got the conference table. We have the receptionist area. We definitely need to add something here. We're going to add that and we're going to add this. And this person, whoever sits here, needs a little flower pot like that. And then maybe there is like one painting on the wall. Like I think a painting is appropriate in this situation. It's just really easy to add like paintings everywhere. I think that, um, yeah, I think that that would be like a really easy thing to do is to just add like a lot of paintings, but it's also something that may not be the greatest idea in the history of the universe is to just simply add a bunch of paintings. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to put that and then we're going to do this light like this. I think that's going to work. Because if like all you do is add paintings, then eventually it's going to get a little bit tiresome. A little tiresome. So try to find other things to add other than paintings. That's not to say never use a painting, but try to think of something else first, I would say. There we go. There's a little deal there. I like that. And then I'm tempted to put more things on this shelf, but just kind of like my senses tell me, just leave it a little bit plain like that. I mean, this is an accountant, right? This isn't like a artist <laughs> has stuff everywhere. Okay. Now what we need to do is create the accountant's desk. And if I was an accountant and I was working on accounts all day, I would want to be looking out the window. So I'm going to actually put it here, which seems like really contradictory to what one might normally do. All right, there we go, like that, and like that. And then we're gonna take and get a painting. We're gonna get a very specific painting. There's one that just, to me, looks like a, um, just what I was done saying, don't use paintings. Um, this is a good application of a painting, is that that's, that's the accountant's, like, um, that's his, uh, like, desktop, basically, right? And then right here, I think what we're going to do is put in some, uh, some looms like this. And we're going to do them backwards like that. But then the problem is, and then, because those really look like drawers, but then the problem is, is that you have this weird top, right? So we're going to have to fix that with some, Maybe some carpet, maybe like a light gray carpet. We're just gonna throw on top of here. Like those are like a couple of like file things. We're gonna get rid of that one and that one, and then like this and like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's, uh, I don't love it though, so let's add something. It's looking better, all right. Still don't love it, let's add, let's just add some more. Let's make like a huge like filing deal. I'm going to break this out so I can come up here. Hey, there we go. Break that back out and then come up here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. And then, ooh, I think I want to use dark oak buttons instead. I mean, that's pretty good. I don't love this, and I don't know why. I thought that would totally work, but it, it does not. There we go. That's good. And then we need, um, we need our composter. You know me, I gotta have a plant. Gotta have a plant or two in here some leaves. There we go, that's good, too high. And then right here, 
We're going to have a little table like that. Like this. And I want to grab these uh, dark oak trapdoors. Like this. And we're going to put that one there. And one there and there. And then guess what we're going to put on this? Uh, let's see. I want some of this gray stained glass that and then I want a button and then I want and uh, let's see um, a slab and I want the smooth stone slab like th that and I want to get rid of this because I want the black stained glass there we go and then I want the um, let's see not a dark oak button but a stone button there it is. Okay. Come on. Stone button. There we go. Do you guys know what that is? How about that? You guys know what it is? It's supposed to be a coffee pot. <laughs> Every good accountant needs a coffee pot, right? Speaking of pots, let's put a pot here with a plant. And let's see, what kind of plant do we want to use? How about just like a little flower? Or maybe this guy is a little bit more practical and he put in here a, hello, a cactus? Is that what you do? Yeah, there we go. He's a little bit more practical. I'm thinking of my neighbor. My neighbor would probably kill a normal plant. <laughs> That's nothing against him, it's just the truth. <laughs> he would probably kill it. Okay, let's see. I need like something else on here. Let's see, let's go with like some item frames. And then we need like a couple of books, right? We need like a couple of item frames. And then we're gonna get like a like an ink and quill. Quill, there we go. Ink and quill in that one. And then maybe there's like a, there's like some paper in this one, but like one of those banner, yeah, one of these banner patterns. These things look kind of like a fancy, like a little notebook or something. Like he's got like a little notebook right there. That's pretty good. You know, maybe he has one of these paintings over here. Not that one. Come on, there we go. So he's got like a couple of screens going on. And maybe like his keyboard is, oh shoot. Maybe like his mouse is here and his keyboard is here. Let's see, um, pressure plate, it's the heavy. Weighted pressure plate, there we go. Just like that. Uh, that's better here. There we go that or you know what what if we got rid of this one and this and we put like our item frame that yeah that's what that's what we're gonna do okay so we got to get our painting over here now come on running out of time so hoping to get a couple of these things done there we go and then we're gonna do our that and then that and then we're gonna move these over one <laughs> You got to get it right, you know? That's another principle that we're going to talk about. You got to get it right. So you got to keep monkeying with it until you get it so that it looks right. Come on. There we go. Got to get it right. Now it's right. There we go. Those are just temporary so that I could place a couple of buttons there. Okay. This is great. Okay, cool. And then um, I think the last thing that we want to do in here is the light on the roof, on the ceiling. So we're just going to put in like a, a very utilitarian sort of thing. Very utilitarian. There we go. 
Oh, we totally forgot to put in a chair for the poor <laughs> for the poor sap. <laughs> he needs a chair. Oh wait, I have the materials I need right in front of me. I need to have him have a chair. And this guy's kind of there. We go. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Cool. Yeah. All right. So he can have. Uh, let's let's make like a little shelf right here. Or maybe like a little shelf in the corner. Um, I'm not sure what to do with that stupid corner. I'm gonna put a shelf right there and we're gonna grab, and we're gonna put another pot on top of it. Like that. And we're gonna put in like another thing, like maybe this little, uh, maybe he's got like a little bonsai right there. A little bonsai tree. That he forgets to work on. <laughs> That's pretty good. There we go. All right, is it done? I feel like it needs like a shelf up there, maybe. Nope. It's going back to my add something thoughts. But that's not what we needed. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. I think that that is going to do it for Hit This Room. And maybe even for this episode. That's good. So we've got this lovely, lovely um, little desk area set up here where our accountant is hard at work. Then we have his meeting room right here. His or her meeting room where we meet with clients and uh, talk to them about their finances. And then um, assistant with reception area. And then, oh, you know, we, we, it would be nice to have is maybe a little bit of carpet. I like this gray carpet. There we go. Oh, that's much more cozy in the waiting room. Sort of this little area here. And then I, I do think since I just said waiting room that we need like a little bit of a, some sort of like a bench. So maybe, maybe we have like an actual bench in here. Maybe against this window for people to sit on. That's like too high, huh, for a bench. Okay, we're gonna go like this. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're going to take and go and grab these and put them in here. There we go. That looks like a place you could sit and wait for the accountant to come out. All right. The last thing that we need is a door. So we're going to get our dark oak doors. And then we're also going to put them right here like that. That's perfect. And then we're going to get um, our dark oak trap doors like this. We're going to throw one here. No, I have to go on the in, on this side. Or wait. Yeah, like this. There we go. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to put, um, let's see. Um, let's see, a sign. We need a sign. How about a birch sign? That would contrast nicely. Let's see, how about um, Bob the pencil pusher, CPA. <laughs> Uh, Bob, the pen, the, wow, I can't spell the pencil push. Oh, well, that's why. Pusher, <laughs> CPA. There we go. Bob, the pencil pusher, certified public accountant. Here's his office. Come in. Uh, I feel like we need another light up here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Pow. 
I put it what right there as you walk in. That's going to begin. Okay. And this will do it. There we are. Cool. Uh, maybe another thing to learn for today is look it over. All right. So when you're done, look it over. So I came in here. We're going to look this space over. Yes, I like it. I, I kind of wish that we would put something underneath here. Maybe another shelf? But then, like, you can't get to her desk or that person's desk. I keep thinking of, like, the assistant as being a her, so I don't know why. And then down the hall. And then here. And then the accountant's office. And that's good. Okay. Love it. Love it. It's kind of minimalist, but then it's also has some good detail. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of How to Build in Minecraft. I hope that you've learned how to build a lovely accountant's office, or this could actually go for like uh, any any sort of self-employed, um, blue-collar, like, you know, worker person, like lawyers, uh, um, anybody that like would work at a desk or something like that, this, would, this could work. Um, but I was definitely thinking accountant when I built this. Anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that and maybe learned something or just got to watch a fun video. But more importantly, whoops, I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> and uh, I got a house to fix and some uh, taxes to do. And God bless. <laughs>